In this quick guide, I'm going to show you how you can make this email agent that uses DeepSeek to both get your last emails, but also send emails by getting your contacts in your Google Sheets and then sending the email to the right contacts. So just to demo this, I'm going to click on test workflow and we are going to open our Telegram account where we are going to send a message, like send an email to Pablo and ask him whether he is free to play volleyball later. And you can just send this message. And then as you can see, DeepSeek now uses the Google Sheets contacts list to get Pablo's uh, email. Then it will send that email over to Pablo and responds with a quick summary of what he's just sent. Uh, and as you can see inside of our email here, you can see that we just got this message from uh, DeepSeek basically. Hi Pablo, are you free, free to play available later today? Very nice. Okay, so I'm gonna uh, go through step-by-step step how we can build this email agent. Uh, so going from the start, we need to start off with a Telegram trigger. And I'm going to show you how you can actually connect to Telegram if you have done, not done so yet. So we need to start with an on message. And in here, we need to actually create a new credential. So you can click on this button right here and create new credential. And you want to open these docs. So in those docs, you will be able to scroll down to the bot father. So if you click on that, you will start a new conversation with the bot father. And as you can see inside of my Telegram here, I have a, already have a conversation with the bot father. What it will do once you start a conversation with him is that he will prompt you to basically make a new bot. So you can just click on this slash new bot here. And then he wants to make you to make a name for it. So just make a name for it. And then you need a username which ends in bot. Once you have uh, connected to that, you will get this message right here, which has your uh, API token, which you need to copy. So just underneath this HTTP API here, you need to copy that token. We need to head back over to our NHN workflow. And in here, we need to paste that token in here and then you can click on save. Now you have set up your credentials with the Telegram and you can test this step, click on test step. We can just go back to the Telegram channel and he will basically uh, give you this link right here where you can talk to your new bot that you just created. Click on that link and you will head over to your bot. You will just say, um, you can just say hi, but I will just use a message that we can use later to test this workflow. So I will say, uh send an email to pablo saying what's up now will send this message what will happen now is that we will have uh basically got this message inside of our workflow which said send an email to pablo saying what's up very nice so once we tested that step we can actually go ahead and make or add a next node here which will be the ai agent add that and we want to have a tools agent we want to be connected to not be connected to a chat trigger we want you want to define below in here the text we want to have set here is the text we got from telegram so you can just add that in here and for the prompts we want to add a system message to basically say not just you are a helpful assistant but basically say what the tools are and how we can how basically the agent needs to behave so uh, what I will do is just copy the uh, little prompt I used for my email agent here. So in here, I just say this little prompt right here. If you don't want to write it out, you can just take a screenshot of this prompt and just send it to ChatGPT and say like, hey, just write out the words that are in this uh, image and then just copy it and paste it in here. So once you've done that, we can just click out of this uh, AI agent and we can then connect to our DeepSeek accounts. So to do that, we need to add a Grok chat model. And now we need to connect to our Grok account. So to make a new Grok account, you will just click on this button right here, create new credential, and you need to API key. So what you need to do is you need to head over to grok.com. And in here, this is like the ultra fast uh, host for different types of AI models. So once you have uh, connected or you have made your own account, you can click on the dev console. In here, you need to come down to your API keys. And in here, you basically just need to create an, an API key. And then you can copy that API key and come back over to your email agent. And you can just paste that API key in here and you have connected to your Grok account. And now we can choose the model, which will be the, let me just see if I can find it, DeepSeek R1 Distilled Llama. This is the DeepSeek R1 model. And it is super fast when you use through the grok.com system. So now we are connected to that one and we need our next tool, which will be our first tool in our email or in our 
AI agent, which will be the Google Sheets. So you just need to uh, click on Google Sheets tool. And in here, we want to get rows. So for the Google Sheets account, you just need, again, to create a new credential and just click on sign in with Google. You use the OAuth 2. And for the tool descriptions, I'll, I'll actually just set this manually and say, uh, use this tool to get contact info of the people referred to. This is Google Sheets. There we go. And now I'll just click on, let me just turn on my camera again. There we go. Okay. And I'll just find the document that I used. So it was contacts. And then we want to may use the sheet one to get those contacts. Because as you can see in here, I have two contacts in my Google Sheets, which is Pablo and Jens. So once you've done that, you can click out of this. And now I want to add a new tool, which will be email tool or Gmail. Gmail tool, and we want to send a message. So message send. And for this one, we can have the tool description set automatically, but we want to actually, we don't want to hard code who the person or who DeepSeek is sending to. We want DeepSeek to let to basically set that himself. And the same goes for the subject and also the message. So what we need to do when we whenever we are connecting uh, tools to an AI agent and we want the agent to send parameters uh, himself, we actually need to use something that is called or say something in uh, JavaScript that is from AI. So as you can see in here, we use the uh, curly brackets and from AI, and we say what the uh, parameter is, and we say the description of the parameter. So I'm just going to copy this from AI email into two. And then the other one was from AI subject, copy that one in here. And then the last one was the message, which also we are going to let AI write himself. We need to paste that in here. So, uh, and the last thing we need to do is just make the HTML uh, or the email be in text and not HTML. If you do want, you can actually have this in HTML and let the AI make the email Gmail pretty. But for now, we'll just use text. So that is now set up correctly. And we want to, and as you can see in here, there are docs uh, explaining how the from AI uh, place or their name there works or from AI and with the parameter name works. So the last one we need to add is the get messages. So we need to search for Gmail again. And we now want to get the messages. So we can say get many, get many, there we go. And we want to set the AI to set the limits himself. So if the user says, hey, I want to get my last five emails, AI can set that limit. So again, we need to use the from AI and we just need to go back here and we need to copy what was in the get messages, which is a limit here from AI, which was the limits parameter. Just paste that in here. And we can also add the sender. So the uh, person can ask for, do I have any emails lately from Jack or John or whatever? We can just click on sender. And in here, we also want to allow DeepSeek to basically say who the sender is. So we can just paste that in here. Again, we want to use the from AI with the parameter sender email, who the user is asking for the emails from. And now we are done with this module right here. You can click out of that. Once we've done that now, we can actually go ahead and test this AI agent. So what we can do is we can just click on uh, test step. If you sent a message that is, uh, so now we can go ahead and test this AI agent. If you sent a message that is relevant to the AI agent, like something that has to do with email, not just hi, we can test this step. And as you can see the DeepSeek AI R1 model, I will just rename this to DeepSeek R1. Let me just rename that one to DeepSeek R1. And as you can see, this did not work out as it should because I have forgotten to basically set this to expression right here. We can set this to expression. Same goes for this one. And now we should be able to send those emails. We can try again. We can test this AI agent once again. Now we'll get the contact information for Pablo and it will now send an email. Let me see if it works. There we go. Now it works. 
And we can see if we send this email to Pablo. As you can see, we got a message here, but it says it has the JavaScript in the body. So let me just check out that what, what that was about. Go into this Gmail node here. And as you can see, we did not remember to put this, this into an expression. So we can do that, click on expression. And now we can try this email agent once again. This is how it is when you create uh, any time workflows, there are always errors to go back to the email, see what we got. And as you can see, now we got a nice email. What's up? This is an email sent automatically from NA10. Very nice. What we can do now is we can just send a message back to Telegram. So we can just say Telegram and we can just say, send a text message. And then we can just use the chat ID we got here from the first uh, Telegram message we got. So we send it back to the same chat. And we can say that the text was whatever the output was from the AI agent, which was, was this one. And we can test this step right now, which should be, there we go. As you can see, we now got this uh, message in our Telegram. I've sent an email to Pablo with the subject, hey Pablo, and the body, what's up? So if you enjoyed this video, and by the way, to make this active, you can click on this active button right here and click on got it. And now this will just work, work automatically. So now if you enjoyed the video, please make sure to subscribe and I'll see you in the next one.